All right, so now it's getting a little confusing in Staten Island politics because we had a big announcement today that City Councilman Vincent Ignizio is going to be resigning. He's going to be taking a job with Catholic Charities here on Staten Island. So it's going to set a whole range of things um, in motion. Some of them Joe Borelli, former staffer of his, probably looking to move up for the council seat, but there's other people who are being mentioned for that as well. This is the musical chairs aspect of things. Uh, CEC President Mike Riley, we have uh, Civic Association President Ginny Materna, we have Board of Elections Commissioner uh, Ronald Castorina for all for that. And of course the whole thing started with Michael Grimm because he left Congress because of his conviction and on um, tax evasion he was replaced by. We have Dan Donovan there and now we don't have a district attorney so we don't know who the district attorney is going to be so it could be. Uh, Andrew Lanza, we don't know if Andrew Lanza is going to run, but it could be Andrew Lanza if he runs. And, but there could be some Democrats who also run, including surrogate Bob Giganti, and we could have former Representative Michael McMahon and Judge Mario Mattei. We have all of that. And then, of course, but before we get to that, we have Senator Lanza's seat, and that could be by Assemblywoman Maliotakis. And then, but we don't know what would happen with Assemblywoman Maliotakis's seat. And of course, if Borelli does win the, uh, the council seat, then these same people would also become contenders for his assembly seat. As long as there's another elected official involved, who's someone who's going after seat, they're always generally the toughest ones uh, to beat. Like, I mean, Joe Borelli would be very difficult to beat for, uh, for city council. But still, the, these other folks who are mentioned that also have very, uh, very high profiles as well. And, uh, if Nicole Maliotakis was to go after Lanza's seat, uh, it was thought that Joe Borelli would also be going after that seat, but now you've got him going for the council, so that could probably pave her way uh, a little bit, make it a little more easy for her to go after that, um, that seat, again, which is a very difficult seat for uh, Democrats yeah. to win. It's going to be a very, very busy couple of years. Oh, and next year we're also going to have a presidential race, too, which has already begun, so it's always going to be a very, very busy uh, couple of years.